so obvious collectors and preds alike. I want to welcome you to my channel, Predator Collectibles. I am your host, Glennon Taylor, and we take a look at action figures, comic book statues, prop replicas, anything that you can have in your hands and be able to take home. Now, on today's video, we're going to be looking at something that is currently Aliens vs. Predator related, which is why I have my backdrop as such. And you may wonder why I have the San Diego Comic Con 2 can, and that's mainly because this particular item is from San Diego Comic Con in 2011. Now you might be wondering yourself, what exactly did I order that recently came into my collection from San Diego Comic Con 2011? Well, that would be the 1 4th scale bio helmet set from Alien vs. Predator manufactured by Sideshow Collectibles. Now, yes, you were able to get these as a set, as a nice little souvenir or memento, if you were able to go to the con eight years ago, but I was recently able to get this into my collection not very high price at all. I think I paid roughly around $48 for this entire set. So as I always do on my channel, we'll look at the box and then we'll look at the contents as far as each bio helmet and its details. I'm really excited to start this review. So let's get started. Okay, so looking at the box, you have of course, Chopper, Celtic, and Scar in that order. Now naturally, of course, there's no serial number, there's no limited number at all with these. I think more than likely these were mass produced. But again, as I mentioned before, this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive from 2011. So it's weird that they didn't put a limited number on these. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly as to how many were produced, but we do have all three of the bio helmets. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you what is in this box. So let's start with that. So taking out bio helmets. You'll have styrofoam case, the box down here. So when you lift up that, you'll have exactly those three helmets as is. So I'll remove the styrofoam protection covering. And there you go. So you have again, chopper, Celtic and Scar. We'll go ahead and look at Chopper first, up close for this review. What I really like about Sideshow Collectibles is they were able to put every single amount of detail and accuracy into the 1 4 scale replica as they would for the 1 to 1 life size replica of the bio helmet for Chopper. And you can tell that just by looking at the three rivets on each side, total of six. The line detail is also on top of his dome, as well as what the hammering effect is. And I really do like that a lot. And if up close, you even have the cheek detail on each side that shows about three slits or slides as far as line goes. So I really do like the visor as well. Unfortunately, the tri laser housing doesn't light up. I wish they would probably put LEDs in here just like the life size one would, but I think that probably would up the cost. But overall, it does have the sideshow stand and underneath it, it does give you exactly as it would for the life-size version, sideshow collectibles, chopper, predator, mask, minibus, and it has all these on there for both chopper, scar, and Celtic. So I really do love the fact that I have a one four scale version of the chopper bio helmet. I do plan on getting the life-size version hopefully very soon. If not, it'll be sometime in 2020, if not 2021, but that's still a goal of mine. But I am still happy to have a 1 4 scale version of Chopper. So I think that now we've done Chopper, let's move on to Celtic. What I really like about Celtic as a bio helmet is that this has every single amount, again, of detail as it did for Chopper, it does for Celtic. So on a 360 degree turn, you do see everything on here as it would be for the life size version of his brother. The visors or his eyes are, I wish they would be a little bit much more chromed out, but I heard there was a lot of problems even with his brother being paper and not necessarily 100% all lenses, but it's neither here nor there. At 1 4 scale, this is just a cheaper version, so I kind of expect this to be a much more plastic memento slash souvenir, just where you're able to take it home from the con because this is the year in 2011 when Sideshow Collectibles did do the life-size bio helmets from Alien vs. Predator. Now I do have, of course, the cheeks detail over there, and I really like the nose detail. The tri laser housing is there, but again, it's painted, not light up around the LEDs. I wish they would have, but it's neither here nor there. 
And I don't know, I just I really like the fact that I have this particular Celtic bio helmet in my collection. All the details are there and it's sculpted to be in a smaller scale. They're not 3D scan or anything like that. So I don't even think 3D was a possibility to where they can be 3D printed more accurately like their one-to-one -one skill siblings were. But even of course that, you do have still underneath it the Sideshow Collectibles Celtic Predator Mask as it was for the one-to-one -one scale stand. So overall, I do like the Celtic, and I even like the Celtic Predator himself as a character. Even in the film, he really gave a good fight to the great alien, and overall I think he was the alpha, if not the leader, of the three pack of these Predators in that movie. So I'm very happy to see that Celtic is a really cool character, and he's now a one-fourth version Biohelm in my collection. Now this particular bio helmet is the one that I wanted to save for last, mainly because it is the one predator that I think I like out of all three of them, and that is Scar. So with Scar, he does have all the details, just like his, again, one-on-one -on -one scale brother, or his perhaps uh, counterpart, but he does have the hammering effect on the biodome. He even has the Scar, the hose that has the three uh, hose connections on the side, and even up close, this is why I saved them for last because I really do love this version of the bio helmet. Is even though, like I said, the tri laser housing does not light up, you can see the visor himself, as far as the details, has that netting or mesh effect on the visors. This is what I really love. And even underneath, it does have the Sideshow Collectibles AVP Scar Predator mask with his symbol underneath it. So that's really awesome from Sideshow. But overall, I I think this probably has to be my most favorite helmet as far as the three goes because again it does have that mesh design in the lenses and it does have everything as far as what a Scar Predator bio helmet should have from the movie. So overall I think this particular bio helmet definitely has to be my favorite because a lot of collectors know that this is reminiscent from the 1987 Predator and it hasn't really changed all that much over the years but as far as Scar goes this bio helmet has to be definitely one you have to have in your collection if you're able to get this set. And there you have the three trilogy or three set bio helmets from Sideshow Collectibles at one four scale as you can tell again from my head size to these. And we don't see these bio helmets until the very beginning of the film where it's in the preparation room or training room and all you see is the bio helmets themselves which I thought was a really cool scene and overall we don't know a lot about Chopper because he to me was more like cannon fodder he died very quickly Celtic lasted a little bit longer but Scar was the one that ended up surviving the longest up until his death at the very end of the movie but what I really want to know from you is what do you think of these particular bio helmets at one four scale as a souvenir from such a collectibles? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments section. And also by any chance, if you want to know more about how to get these into your collection, because again, this was from eight years ago, and I was able to come across these at a reasonable price at $48. I was thinking about doing an online hunt video for Predator items, because I know I do out in the wild in the retail stores about certain hunts and what I'm looking for. But I want to know from you if you want to know how to get Predator items on the internet. Also, I want to try to change his uh, name, this Toucan behind me, as opposed to his regular Toucan name. I want to see if I can personalize his name, so I would love to know what your ideas would be for names for this little guy behind me, so leave those down there as well. Also, by any chance, if you like this video and you found this very helpful and informative, based on how these come to be in my collection, and if you knew or did not know about them, hit that thumbs up, it goes very well on the algorithm for my channel. And if you are a Predator fan like me, hit that subscribe button as well as bell notification. It helps you to let you know when my next video will be uploaded, and it does also help in relation to all my other videos I have in my libraries. So I did a review on all these things behind me, and I'll leave those videos up here. So I hope to see you next week for a one year anniversary Shane Black's The Predator review. And until I see you until then, happy hunting.